Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Family of Minecrafters. This is Boss Dog 3 here. Uh, without the kiddos today, I decided I was going to do a little tutorial uh, on a mob grinder that we made in our world, our new world. Uh, we made it on day two, requires minimal resources uh, for the most part, um, but we want to show off uh, some of the things that we do in the world, and this is one of the things that we do. Uh, we are in day four, I think, now, and it works pretty well. If you're looking to find XP in your world, um, this is a great way to do it. Uh, and ours is built at the bottom of the world, uh, but not in this world. This is a test world we're in currently here, because um, I'm going to build it here just to show you how well it works. Um, and Or you could build it 128 blocks into the sky. It's all up to you. Um, I will say this. If you're building it in the bottom of your world, you need to make sure that all the caves around are lit up completely if you want to have any rates whatsoever. Uh, and then on top of that, if you're going to build it in the sky, then you need to make sure that one, it's well lit up or slabbed on top. And two, you're going to need a lot more blocks because building it at the bottom of the world, you already have your nice little box built. So without further ado, this is the start of the mob grinder. I already went ahead and built up one side and the box just so it, uh, in the essence of time. If you, let me get back into, uh, I, oh, there we go. Uh, if you, this is a small portion, but again, it's all based on resources that you currently have. So uh, the bigger you build it, the more resources it's going to take. And the numbers that I'm going to talk to you about in that chest over there to the right is for what I have right here. Uh, and what it's going to take to build. It's two-sided. You have four platforms. Uh, that top platform, platform is just going to be the roof. Um, so it's two-sided. So you'll have eight platforms total. If you want to make it bigger, you can. Uh, it's just going to take you more resources to do. You, if you're building it 128 blocks in the sky, you can build it all the way to sky limit. Uh, if you're building it at the bottom of the world, you can build it all the way up till you get to uh, ground level again. Uh, but... It takes more resources, and honestly, uh, you have to pay attention to the law of diminishing numbers. So the more, uh, are you really getting anything more out of it, the bigger that you build it, okay? Because eventually it comes to a point where you're spending resources, and uh, we don't get that many spawns in PlayStation 4 or on console, however you want to refer to it. So you have to uh, take that into account. So let's, without further ado, let's get into this. So... Um, it is, you need to either size out a room uh, at the bottom of the world. Uh, it would only be 19 by 19 um, because right here, this is, uh, what did I say that was? That was 21, but that's actually the walls to the wall. Uh, you would count out to 21. But if you're building it at the bottom of the world, uh, you would only need a 19 by 19 room. Uh, and then mine is, I believe, 17 high. Yeah, 17 high. So that's how big of area you would need to dig out at the bottom of the world. Or if you're building it in the sky, then you are basically doing it 21 by 21. And that's a lot of blocks. So let's look at the materials that you're going to need for this build. You are going to need at least 18 stacks of um, half slabs. Uh, bring yourself a half a stack of redstone torches. You won't need that many, but it's just safe to have them with you. Uh, the other thing that you'll need is at least five repeaters. A stack of redstone, again, you probably won't need that much, but it's good to just go ahead and bring it with you just in case. Uh, a redstone block, two redstone comparators, nine hoppers, eight dispensers, two sticky pistons, uh, probably about nine pressure plates, four iron bars or wood fences, either one will work. Uh, and then also six chests, you, chests you bring on how much you actually are gonna wanna store. Uh, 
Uh, I only use two chests total in my world, but uh, you can bring six, you can bring four, it's up to you. And then ice or packed ice. You want to bring about a stack of that just to make sure you have enough. In our world currently, since we're playing on a small map, uh, I have to play with the resources that are in my world, uh, being that it's 100% survival. So all we could find was ice. And that took us... Uh, that some of these resources are why it took us till day two to actually um, get what we needed because we had to wait till we had a silk touch pickaxe to be able to get the ice. So, all right. So this is how this works. If we come inside here, uh, your mobs will form on these platforms. These are top slabs and uh, water will be dispensed from here, washing them off into this, uh, waterway here, there'll be water there, and then there'll be a, uh, a river, or however you want to say it, that'll take them down here into the kill zone area, okay? So let's go ahead and start placing down the water. Now, you're not going to put any water in your dispenses until we're completely done, because if not, you'll get it all out of sync, and you don't want to do that. Okay, so for water, for people that may not know, because I'm a noob still, I've only been doing this for about a year, uh, and... If you're playing on survival, there's an easy way to get water in your buckets without having to constantly go back to a water source. You can create your own water source. If we start in the corner here and we place one bucket here and one bucket here, now we can pull from right here to continuously get a bucket of water. Okay, and you can do that every so often. So then I can go here and then back to here and so on and so forth. And then you just skip every other one and you'll create a water source in between the two, the last two that you made. So if you keep going down the line here, but being in creative, I don't need to do that. All right, so we'll place our water there. And then, oop, I forgot to put some blocks down. We're gonna build up the wall here. And then I'm gonna place in my water. Uh, actually, no, let's wait on that one. I would wait to do your water until, well, this water here is fine. Uh, and I would go ahead and get my ice in and probably put my water in here if I'm in survival. Because if you have to keep going up and down to get supplies and stuff, you got to fight against this water and it's not fun. So uh, I would probably wait to put it in until the very end. Now, how you make your river is, is that we're going to put one uh, bucket of water there and then one bucket of water in this corner. And you're going to create a nice flow of water that goes straight down this way. Oh, I don't have water there. That's why. Um, and then what I want to do is I got to go into creative. Uh, I've got to go into the menu because I always forget this stuff. And I want to get some pressure plates. I'll put them right there. Okay. And then I'm going to place one there. Oh, sorry. You got to break this out. They, you can't put pressure plates on ice. I think you can on packed ice, but for some reason you can't do it on regular ice. Okay, so I'm gonna put blocks there for now. And I'll push pressure plate, pressure plate. Now your mobs will get hung up on this a little bit, but they push themselves right off of the, they don't wanna stay on it either. Uh, so then I will put down water here. And again, on this side, and I get a nice flow of water. And this will take me all the way to the end. And again, I wanna put pressure plates one. Oh. I keep forgetting that. One there, one there, one there. And we're going to put this here, here, and here. Okay. So we're going to leave that for now. And as you can see, you've got your waterway there. And they're going to fall into that. And they're going to travel all the way down to here. Okay. So let's go ahead. And we're going to build up the sides real quick. To make our box. Again, if you're building this in the, in the bottom of your world, you won't have to do this part. Uh, that's another reason why I like building it at the, at the bottom of the world instead of up in the sky, is that once you dig out your room, you've basically got your box. And from what I've read and, and heard from other videos is that your spawning rate, due to some Minecraft al algorithm, uh, you actually will get better spawn rates at the bottom of the world as well. So... There is that. Okay. So, and this is just how I build. Uh, and don't pay attention to the blocks. You can use any blocks that you want. I just like using the diamond ones and the diorite. I know nobody really likes the diorite, but 
Uh, it has great lines. It can you can count them easy, and I use the diamond ones just because they stand out. So you do not need to build with diamond blocks. Now I know the materials having to find dispensers and or make craft dispensers and sticky pistons and all that stuff as of day two makes things a little bit tough. However, we have a, in our new world where we put our base at, we found a skeleton spawner the first day and my son turned the skeleton spawner into a little grinder for us so we, uh, we can get bows that we can then craft into you know brand new bows and then we can also get the string or the uh xp from there so that helped us that's that's how we ended up getting the the silk touch pickaxe so we could get the ice uh he's better at not dying than i am however because every time i get close to the 30 levels needed uh i suddenly get killed by a creeper or something like that i, I i'm pretty sure minecraft has it out for me um, all right so there's the walls built up so now next, we're going to go ahead and how I did this in my world. I'm, I'm showing you how I built it from uh, the ground up, basically, uh, in my world. And what I did was is I just pillared up uh, from the bottom floor, and I put in all my dispensers everywhere they needed to be. So you want this one to be three high on the bottom to start with. It won't really be three high, but then you're going to break out that block. You're going to place in your dispenser. Which, this is a little bit more difficult, obviously, on uh, survival than it is on creative, because I can fly, and on survival you can't. So you've got to learn to pillar up, and then just count up from there. So I put in my slab, my top slab there, and then I go up one, two, and then I break this one out. And I place in my, oop, wrong way top slab there so now I have two and a half high space between here and the next floor which the reason why you want a two and a half two and a half is so that one everything can spawn underneath here uh, which is a little bit taller than two and um, you know your, your uh, other mobs but you don't want it to be three uh, because then Endermen can spawn on this platform and they don't like water and all they'll do is sit in here take up the mob cap and basically uh, Teleport around so they can find a place to teleport and that's just an annoyance that you don't need So you do it at a two and a half high that way it keeps the keeps them from spawning uh, And then we're gonna go up another one right here Just place in that Again, this requires eight dispensers. Eight dispensers, that's it. And then you can have a, a, a pretty decent uh, mob farm. It's probably not the most, it's not the highest rates or anything like that. Um, I'm sure of that. And then what you're gonna do is from the first top slab, you're gonna count out eight. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I did that for all of them back down. One, well, actually, I did the floors one at a time, but two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make the first floor, and then I'm going to do a little cutscene and come back when they're all done. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're going to make a little pizza wedge. So you're just going to go. Each each new row is one back than the last one. Okay, so there's that. You stop there, one short. Start there, one short. So on and so forth. Until you get down to one on all three corners. Okay. Do this side. All right, so that's how you do that. So you have one on all three corners and it looks like just a little pyramid. Uh, and you take one back every, every row, okay? So let me get the rest of these floors done and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And if you see what I did there, I made basically uh, 10 pyramids on either side. And what happens is, is the mobs spawn in here and then the water dispenses uh, every minute or so 
and it'll push them off and push them into this middle stream and then they'll carry themselves right down through here until they get to our area where we're going to make uh, the killing area, which is what we're going to do next. Okay, so uh, you're going to put a roof on in this and everything, but I'm leaving it off uh, at this point just so we have light and we can see and all that kind of stuff in here. Uh, but you are going to need to half slab this entire roof. And if you want to know why nothing's spawning at this point, even in the dark areas, I've got it on peaceful because when you're trying to build, it is kind of annoying and uh, the mobs are continuously coming at you and stuff like that. So, all right. Next, let's build out a little... Uh, let's go with a little too high area. Okay. And then you're going to want the mobs to come right in here. Okay. So they're going to come right across. That go let's go ahead and change this out for ice. Just so they flow easier. All right. And then... Now... There's probably multiple ways to do this killing area. Uh, this is just the way I chose to do it. Uh, I wanted my spiders separated from the rest of my mobs. Uh, mainly because spiders are annoying. And they like to block up everything. And they still do even uh, when I have it separated like this. So I'm going to build up the walls. And yeah, no, let's let's take it down. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. So then we're gonna come out this way. And that'll push them there, which will carry up there. Yep. So here, here, and then you're gonna build three across like that. Okay. And we wanna put I hate when I do that. Mm, I need to go get one. Let's get some chests. Take that out of there now. Okay. And now we're going to go get our hoppers, which I don't have on me. It's awesome. Our hoppers and then we're gonna point that one into there that one into there Ooh. yeah that should work trying to save as many blocks as possible and of course I'm stuck okay so let's fly back into here one into there one into there. So now when they come in, the spiders will come through here. They'll be trapped right in here. And then this is where you can kill the spiders because they're annoying and they're no fun to deal with. So then you come across here, make your little box. And build this up here. And you're going to need a stair right here if you want that to open, uh, which I always forget. And we're probably going to need to replace that again. So, And you can use any stair that you need there. I'm just, I choose quartz even though it doesn't really match. But now your chest still opens. If you use a full block there, your chest isn't going to open. Okay. So now I'm going to get out the iron bars. And I'll place them right across here like so. Okay. So now I can just, when they get trapped right in here, I can hit them right there. All right, so now you're going to need some signage, which I forgot to put in the list of stuff you're going to need. Uh, we'll get rid of the iron bars, and then we're going to go like this. You're going to take one sign there, straight across. Okay? So, and then you're going to also do signs. Oh. Okay, I messed up. You're going to take this out. You're going to do a block here, here, and here. And you're going to change this into ice as well. Because you have to put signs here. So that, and if you crouch place, 
one into that sign, and you don't have the annoying little stand there. Uh, you have to put sign. You have to put signs there because you want the water to stop. Um, but you want them to go under this. Okay. And now we're gonna have to make this bigger because, well, like I said, spiders are annoying and they're bigger than just a one wide. But that's fine. Easily fixable. Quick change. All right, there we go. And then I want to break these. And now I want to bring this out one more. And you can have anything you want there. You want glass, put glass there. It's fine. It's fine. It'll it'll all work out just just fine. And there's probably even a different uh I, I thought of a different way after the fact about how you could probably just turn them into where we're going to kill the rest of the mobs. Um, but I, I just like the looks of this design more than anything. And I like, you know, not worrying about having to kill the spiders. If I don't want to, I can leave those till last. Uh, so now I got to get my iron bars again. And go there, there, and there. Okay. So now I can stand right here and kill them. And let's get another chest. And put that right there. Okay. So now when they come down, I can kill them right there. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is uh, make yourself a little line here. And what you're going to do is now that you've got your signs there, you're going to go corner here and not there. You're going to do it here. So one in each corner. And that's going to make this a, a three-wide water source. And your uh, mobs are going to flow straight up this, uh, except for the creepers tend to get stuck. And I think I'm actually, I might be losing a few of them. They might be suffocating before they actually get over. Not all of them, but I think some of them are. So, and let's go here, here, here. Okay. And then, and, and you don't need the quarter blocks if you're building this. Again, if you're building this above the world, you could just do a straight drop down too, uh, where you let them fall. Uh, you could rework your uh, the way your water flows in the center channel there and just have them fall straight down. And that's perfectly fine. Uh, so let's put in some water. But you continuously doing, do this all the way to the top into your top row. So let me get this done and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And what we did is I finished putting in the rest of the water, getting it almost to the top of the, and you can go all the way to the top. You can go higher if you just want them. If you're not wanting it for XP, and you're just wanting it for the drops, you can have them drop 20. Um, I want the XP, in it, but I do want them to be uh, a little bit easier to, uh, to kill uh, so I can, you know, don't have to stand there all day hitting them or take the chance of a creeper getting mad at me and blowing up. So uh, the next step you're going to do is you're going to build this wall out just a little bit. Actually, that should work. And we are going to put a sign right there. And then we're going to put one bucket of water back here, and it's going to flow all the way to the edge. And this is going to, once they get to the top of your water elevator, this is going to push them out and over the edge. So then all you have to do is come down here and they're gonna fall right down here. So what I want you to do is I want you to put in a chest. You can double it up if you want. And then you're gonna need a hopper, which I put away. So we can get rid of those chests, we're done with those now. Uh, and then you put in a hopper right there. And then you put a half slab on top of that hopper. That's gonna keep your XP from building up in the hopper and it'll come straight to you instead. And then all you're gonna do is you're going to come straight down with the blocks. Oh. And I could have left that there. All the way down. Until you're one up from right there. So then I can stand here and hit the mobs. Actually, let's do this. Let's, let's, I'm just going to leave that for one chest for right now. Uh, and then you want to come one out. So that you keep your little hole there. And then you're going to come all the way down. All the way to the ground. OK, 
Okay. So now you have your little mob grinder here and they'll fall right down on this hole and you can hit them with a the sword all day long. But what I do want to do is I want to make this look a little bit nicer. I don't like having those corners like that. Um, if you're afraid of potentially, and I go ahead and build these sides up too so they don't just fall over the edge. And that should match up pretty nice with your uh, roof of your building, of your mob grinder, whatever we're calling this. Okay, so that's the killing area. We have the platforms. We got to do some redstone and we need to put a roof on this. So um, let me put a roof on this and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, once again, if you're building this above the world, uh, 128 blocks in the sky, I guess it should say. Uh, you need to make sure you either slab the entire roof area or light it up really well. Or else you'll have spawns where you don't want them and that's they'll be up here instead of in there. So also I wanted to make sure that uh, I know I forgot to say this at the beginning, but I wanted to give credit where credit was due. This is not my original or uh, this is not an original design. Um, I actually watched this, uh, a different type of design. I mean, this, this design is mine as far as, uh, it's small, it's compact it, it, and, and, and the killing area is mine and stuff like that. But, uh, the original idea that I got this from was actually silent whisperer. He showed how to make a creeper farm, which you could turn this into a creeper farm or a creeper only farm. And that's where the redstone is about to come from. So, and I think he said he got it from somebody else, but I don't remember the name. So to do our redstone so that this actually works, we first want to put a little block there and then you're going to bring in, this is what we need next. You're going to need your redstone torches. You're going to need your repeaters. You're going to need your comparators, redstone, redstone block. You're also going to need uh, your sticky pistons and hoppers and then you're going to need to make sure that you have 64 of some block and then i'm going to want to have these blocks too just as just as well just in case i break something so now how you do this is we're going to create a redstone torch tower okay and all you have to do is start with a block then go redstone torch then go block and then go redstone torch then go block all the way up and you'll hear the uh, uh, dispensers clicking as you're going up if you're doing it correctly that is if you don't hear them as you're going up uh, you've probably got them in the wrong order or something like that um, so then you just keep going up until you get to this one and then you put one on top and you can stop right there. And then I would put a, oh, I don't have mommy. I'll come back and do that in a minute, but you need to make sure that you put a uh, half slab on top of that. And you could take it all the way up. In fact, I will. I, I'm pretty sure that th this one does nothing, but I want it to be in line with the top of the roof. All right, let me go do the other side and I'll be right back. see if that helped at all. I think it's just going to be because we're on the glass. Yeah, it helped a little bit, but not a lot. Shouldn't hurt the spawn rates, but this, it won't hurt the spawn rates in your world anyways, because this will be not, it won't be glass. So, all right, let's get out of here. We'll go put our 64 items in. Well, let's first, let's turn it off peaceful. So we'll turn this back to hard, which is the mode that we play in. And then we'll put our 64 items in there. And then we'll fly around to the front here. I got to get some half slabs. I can't have that like that. Just doesn't work for me. 
and you could again you could extend this out you could cut down the light levels And it may take a minute to get it going since I had it on peaceful. Mine again, mine's at the bottom of the world. I don't have a problem with light levels. So Alright, you should be hearing some mobs. So all the water's gone, except for that top one and the bottom one. So they're out of sync, and this will happen. But in all honesty, that shouldn't be an issue. All right, guys, let me do some troubleshooting, and I'll be right and we're back guys i had a little bit of troubleshooting an hour and a half later that's version one this is version two i have no idea why that one didn't work uh it's the exact same build as this one the only thing that i can think of is that i there must have been some sort of glitch when i started out on peaceful and then turned it to hard so i came back into the world on uh hard level and now I have a ton of these guys, and I just want to show you something real quick. Let me give myself some food here. And let's switch it over to survival. Now, the these guys can't touch you, and you might want to go just because sometimes skeletons and uh, Creepers like to fight, so you might want to put uh, obsidian up around this if you have that. If you don't, don't worry about it. But as you can tell, these mobs just keep coming. If your area is well lit up, the same thing will work for you. Now, when you go over to the spider side, remember, the spiders can get to you if you're not careful. So you have to stand at the right angle so that they can't. There we go. And then this guy's going to come up here. Ah, see, and he can hit me. So you have to be careful. But once you get them, they just keep coming. Again, if you just watch this for a few minutes, you can just see the levels just keep coming out of here. And these guys just keep pouring down in there. I should have stayed in there and showed you guys how many mobs were inside there. Uh, and if you look around, well... Right now, you can't see anything. They were all pouring out here a minute ago when I was building this thing because I wanted to make sure it worked before I actually uh, turned the video back on and I didn't have it plugged up yet. So the system does work. It's not going to produce 24,000 drops an hour or whatever it is, but it is going to get you the levels that you need pretty quickly. Uh, but as you can tell, guys, the mobs just keep coming. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh had some technical difficulties oh wow there's a lot of them in there as you can tell oh, and I switched it over to creative so you can't see all the levels I'm getting but I went from I think I was level 5 uh, the first time I tried this and I was level 25 within 10 minutes so the, you do get good drops again it depends on how well you light up your caves or if you build it 128 in the air uh, it'll it'll save you but as for that guy as for that guys that's all I've got for you today please uh, if you have a comment leave it down below we'd love to hear from you and I'll try to answer anything any questions you guys have and if you like this video liking uh, leaving a like will definitely help the channel and if you like it well enough you can subscribe to more videos like this because we'll be putting out more videos uh, my kids put out videos from time to time and then I try to do at least uh, two or three a week. Okay. Thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great day.